And this problem tells us to factor, um, solve by factoring. So first rule of factoring is to look for a GCF. This one doesn't appear to have one. So we're going to use the box method because it has three terms. So we're going to draw the box. And the first term of x squared goes in the top left-hand box, and the bottom hand, right-hand corner goes the 12, which is that term right there. And now we're going to make our x, and this last number of 12 goes in the top, and the bottom number of 7 there goes to the bottom. Um, I'm sorry, the middle number goes to the bottom. So now we're going to find two numbers that add or subtract to 7 that also add, that multiply to 12. So I like just to make lists, and I start by saying 1 times 12. I know 1 and 12. There's no way that 1 and 12 can combine and make a 7. 2 times 6, they are also not going to give me um, a 7 to add up to. And 3 and 4, 3 times 4 gives me 12, and 3 plus 4 gives me 7. So those are my two numbers, 3 and 4, and I'm going to put them over here in my box, and it doesn't matter in which order that you put them. And now we are going to pull out um, a GCF four times. So we're going to start here at these two numbers, 4x and 12. They have a GCF of 4. x squared and 3x have a GCF of x. And these um, terms, 4x and x squared, have a GCF of x. And 3x and 12 have a GCF of 3. So our answer is going to be x plus 4, and since we're solving them, we need to set them equal to 0. So the other one was x plus 3, and set that one also equal to 0. And subtract 4 here to solve for x. x is equal to negative 4, should be one of my answers. And I'm going to subtract 3 to both sides, leaving me with x is equal to negative 3. And now I'm going to show you how to plug this into your Desmos calculator to see if you have solved it correctly. Okay, so you can see here that I have plugged my equation given into my y equals. And if I touch these, uh, the graph, it'll give me important pieces of information. If I touch there, it tells me that one of my solutions should be at negative 4 and one of my solutions should be at negative 3. And therefore, I know that I got it correct.